Today is going to be a great day. I am Nikki G, your host. Welcome to The Lone Doctrine, the food for thought exploration station and your place in making today better than yesterday. We appreciate you being here and we appreciate your time and support. We know how busy and demanding life can get, but having you with us really means more than we can express. Each and every week having you here is awesome. And each and every week we choose a topic. The topic for this month has been extended from last month because it's something that surrounds all of us, whether it be personally or someone personally close to you. Could I draw it out any longer? Our topic is the feeling of feeling lost. When we're lost in life, lost in a situation or stuck in a fog. However you define it, I'm sure you've been there at some point in your life or will be there, and that's okay. It's actually quite normal because life is ever-changing and sometimes as we enter new chapters of our lives, we're met with some uncertainty until we move through the challenges and hardships. Today, I'd like to explore with you part of the biggest element in the feeling of feeling lost, and that is not feeling good enough, not feeling adequate. Most of the time, this is more of what's inside our mind rather than the reality of our everyday life. When we find ourselves doubting ourselves or fearful to move forward, to take that leap of faith or truly pursue a full and awesome life, there's probably something much deeper happening. Here's some food for thought. Have you tried positive thinking and affirmations? You read all the advice about self-confidence. You've listened to podcasts, but deep down you are still left feeling not good enough. Feeling inadequate is one thing to understand mentally, but to actually change it and stop beating yourself up requires some serious inner work. Why? Low self-worth often stems from very deep-rooted issues. This becomes clear looking at the common reasons for not feeling good enough. Here's some of them. You have a hidden core belief that's basically running the show. The thoughts we actually hear in our heads are far less powerful than those that lurk in our unconscious. Low self-worth is inevitably connected to the buried and hidden assumptions about the world, about others, and about ourselves that we mistakenly use as fact. Another thing is, if you listen deeply, your inner voice is actually critical and kind of judgmental. It is easy to convince ourselves we are positive thinkers. Mindfulness is a wonderful technique for slowing down enough to hear your thoughts clearly. It is about listening and letting go to thoughts without judgment. And yet many of us don't actually take the time to properly listen to our thoughts. If we do, we might discover it's a radio show of negativity. So then we become more aware on how to flip the script. Some more things to think about when you're not feeling at your best is who you're surrounding yourself. Are they critical? Have you had critical or demanding parents or family members? Has your main caregiver offered you stability and safety? How about maybe you didn't get enough attachment as a kid? You experienced strong traumas in the past? And the biggest, most important question is, Is the feeling of not feeling good enough always about the past? It is inevitable that the environments and experiences of our past affect us. Of course, there are other factors. Some of us born with a naturally more sensitive personality or maybe you're an empath, for example. So you tend to feel things a little more. And sometimes... It is a marked trauma. It's something that actually has happened that leaves us not feeling good enough, such as a betrayal. Even then, though, we find our confidence and self-worth suffers more and we take longer to recuperate 
if we had previous trauma in our past earlier in life. So you hear all these things, you're like, great, that sounds really positive. I love this. This is great. Let's move through all this really negative stuff I just listed off. It's less of that and more of just becoming aware of where the root is. Where is the root? What is happening in your life to make you feel this feeling of not feeling good enough, of feeling lost, of feeling heavy? Because there's always a root. You'll hear, read, and even see the concept of quote-unquote problems coming from your past or coming from your childhood. Although there might be a lot of truth in that fact, a broader view is that something the issue can also stem from can happen in adulthood. We could experience trauma or even chronic stress, which also puts us in a different state to handle life and all its ups and downs in a different way. I always say, if any of the subjects we discuss are weighing on you or you're having a hard time moving through your challenges, I encourage you to reach out for help. Find a close friend, a close family member, and better yet, find resources towards getting guidance from counselors or therapists. People are out there to help. You might feel so lost at times, But always remember there are people and organizations who understand, who can empathize with you and will help you. In fact, we're thinking of creating a page on our website that lists organizations you can reach out to for various things. Would you like that? Would that be helpful? Send us a message and let us know. And if you have one in mind, we're all ears. The fact is, your mental health should be at the top of the list. The aspect of your life that gets the attention and care it deserves is and starts with the root, your mental health. What and how we think has a close link to determining what happens to us. So if we want to change our lives, we need to stretch our minds. Thank you for tuning in with us today. We appreciate you. If you found this episode helpful or even just insightful, it would mean the world to us if you could help get this food for thought out to as many people as we can because together we are better. Or if we could have a few seconds of your time, we'd love to hear your thoughts. You can leave us a review on Apple Podcasts, which in turn helps us show up in the search engine so others in need can find us. We hope to hear from you, and until next time, keep fighting the good fight. It's up.